Hi, thanks for watching this video. I always loved building models and I always loved playing video games. So I thought it might be a good idea to bring both worlds together and create something new out of this. One of my favorite games of all times is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I love the multiplayer aspect of it and especially the map Crash featuring a crash landed Sea Knight helicopter. Let's look at the scene from the game. The helicopter lies in the middle of a square and is broken into two pieces. The front contains a cockpit, the broken windscreen and the entry doors. The back side of the copter is wide open and you can see benches, fuel cans and the open bay door. And this is what I wanted to recreate as a model. The entire helicopter wreck with the exact details as in the game down to the surrounding crash site. In these pictures you can see the comparison between the game and the model. You can't buy this model from the box. You need to scratch build it from spare parts and diverse material like aluminium from Chinese takeaway or pencil erasers. First let me show you how this works and then we'll take a closer look at the results. To start with I bought a model of a Sea Knight helicopter in 1 in 72 scale. The first thing I had to do was to cut the fuselage into two parts exactly as it is in a map. I uploaded in-game screenshots onto my PSP in order to have a ready available reference to the game design. The rotor tail in the game is tilted due to the impact forces, so I had to cut out the model at that point and separate the rotor from the fuselage. The floor had to be painted, weathered and cut along the main break-off line. Since the copter is wide open on both ends, the whole interior is visible. Unfortunately, the model has not enough detail, so I had to scratch build most of it. From zip bags and stretched plastic sprue, I created the wall structure by supergluing those bits into place. Additional cables made of superglued threads and covering from aluminium added to the details. There's an awkwardly shaped box in the front bit of the helicopter. I cut this box from a pencil eraser and glued it into place. More difficult was the modeling of a triangular structure that can be found on the left window. For that I used aluminium that I had to bend into shape. Check against my reference and it looks pretty good. Next step, building the benches out of aluminium. This was most tricky due to the small dimensions of the benches and the need to be able to assemble the whole structure later. First milestone achieved. Fuselage and floor are complete. After assembling the model and applying the decals, again I had to make sure to find the right ID numbers for the helicopter, the model is ready for weathering. I used a well-known technique by rubbing black pastel oil over sandpaper and applying the grit with a brush onto the model surface. Now all is ready and we can deal with the base plate. The model is set into plaster and believe it or not each rock that you can see in the game is planted individually onto the base of my model, roughly in the same position as the game actually. Last but not least the details. Building a claymore mine out of spare parts and stretched sprue was probably the most fun bit of the whole project. Check out the laser beams. Finally all done and finished. Ready to deploy. UAV is airborne. Our UAV is online. 